question is from Omnivorous Adam. You guys talk about the importance of eating high-quality, healthy food, yet besides Doug, we rarely hear any of you speak about what you cook at home. What's your favorite go-to dish that you cook for yourself at home? It's mainly because it's a lame conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you eat, bro? Yeah, yeah I, think uh, that, I think that's. I think we've discussed before. Like, yeah, I'm boring. Uh, well, no, it's just that's the thing to do in the fucking fitness space too. Is take pictures of your fucking food every single day. Uh, yeah. I saw value in it when I was competing, so people could. I was tracking and I was measuring and weighing all my food, so people could see and I was listing my macronutrients, but. I think all of us, uh, I mean, I'll start, I can't speak, I'll speak for myself. It's it's pretty boring. Uh, yesterday, um, I had coffee. I skipped breakfast, mainly because I know that I wasn't moving very much. Uh, I didn't get a, uh, the uh, day before, I hadn't got a workout in. Uh, so I didn't eat any breakfast at all. All I had was my coffee. Uh, lunchtime, uh, I went and met uh, with our friend Jordan Harbinger and had Luna. At Luna, I ate... Um, and Luna is a local, uh, um, you know, farm to table uh, Mexican restaurant that is here that we all love. And I got uh, steak. I got steak fajitas. Uh, I passed on the sour cream and the guacamole, and uh, I, all I had was the rice, beans, and the meat. Well, tasty stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I, <laughs> but here, I guess here, we're, what's good about this conversation is here's an example of how my eating changes day by day um, a little bit, but I'm not neurotic about it to where I'm weighing or measuring right now. I know my movement and my calorie burn and my training is significantly low right now. If I'm training hard and I'm consistent and I'm burning a lot, I, I'll, I'll enjoy the chips and guacamole. I'll have the tortillas with my steak fajitas and I'll, I'll, in, I'll t intake that extra three to 500 calories because I know I can afford it. I would have had, I would have got up and had a big eggs and bacon type of breakfast and probably a, a green juice to start my day off. Like that, if I'm burning a lot, but because I'm not, I make these little subtle adjustments. I pass on the chips and guac. I don't eat the tortilla. I skipped breakfast that day. So, but I mean, our, I feel like our food isn't that weird or different than anybody else. Dinner time, I had, okay, here's another example. Uh, Katrina, we make uh, ground turkey tacos a lot. Uh, when I know that I'm not burning a lot of calories, I opt out on the tacos and I make taco salad. Why do I do that? Well, when I have tacos, I could literally, those, those little taco shells, I can crush eight to 10 of those things. And you know what? When I'm burning 4,000 plus calories, I don't give a fuck. I'll eat mm -hmm. the tacos. It's ground turkey tacos. It's got some lettuce and salsa in it. We just sprinkle a little bit of cheese in there. It's really not that bad for me to intake that much calories. But I, instead of that, what I do is make a taco salad. And so she takes two of the taco shells that I would normally eat eight to 10, and I make a taco salad instead of having tacos. Mm. So, I mean, that that was my day yesterday to give you an idea of how I eat. And that's a pretty regular kind of day for me. And, um, you know, there's things that I, I add in there or change. We rotate meats a lot. So we eat a lot of, uh, we eat a lot of bison the day before that. Um, we had uh, bison and sweet potato. Uh, we eat a lot of veal. Uh, there's this, uh, this quinoa pasta uh, thing that we like, like it's a pasta type of noodle, but it's made out of like quinoa or some shit like that. It's higher protein, uh, low, uh, lower glycemic. And uh, we have that with uh, um, uh, bison or veal. Uh, I do a lot of chicken thighs and that, that one's a boring one. Chicken thighs, uh, rice, and some sort of a green broccoli, asparagus is normally a go-to for me. Um, you know, the, I, I don't think that I'm eating it at Brussels sprouts. I eat a lot of those. So on a day when I want to stay away from eating a ton of calories, I'll have just a giant bowl of Brussels sprouts with a little bit of bacon, the, the recipe that Doug shares. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that to me, that's a pretty normal yeah. kind of like rotation of food. What about you guys? Yeah, you're right. It's boring. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's why I, I mean, maybe. No, you know, no. I was just watching the paint uh, peel. No, well, no. Here's the there. deal. People want to know because we, you know, we represent, you know, fitness and health. Here, here's the thing with food, okay? Food. Food has a lot of different kinds of value, okay? And and one of the main ones that we understand in the fitness space is the physiological value. Proteins, fats, carbs, calories, ma ma micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients that may be in plant, all these wonderful things that are healthy for your body. 
But there's other values to food. Like I was in, I was just in Maui. Okay, I'm in Hawaii. I'm on vacation, and I always laugh because when I'm doing this, I'm like, I wonder if there's any mind pump listeners watching me eat right now. Because you know what I'm eating for breakfast? Loco Moco. You know what Loco Moco is? It's a, <laughs> it is a local Hawaiian yeah. breakfast Fri- dish. Fried beans. No, and, it's it's, and it's eggs it's, over the uh, rice. So, yeah, so yeah. it's rice yeah. with two eggs over easy, uh, a hamburger patty, and this oh, brown gravy. Uh, that is, you know, a part of Hawaii. Or I'm having spam, mm. eggs, and rice. I never eat spam, but why am I eating? I'm in Hawaii. Fuck, I'm gonna. The value of the food at that time is to complete the the for me at least. It could be different for for other people, but for me, it's to complete the experience of being in 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 Maui. I had shaved ice uh, in Maui where they did shave the ice and they put the you know the the fake colored sugary stuff on it, and I'm enjoying myself. But I also had lots of fish. Why did I have lots of fish? Again, I'm in Hawaii. There's a lot of fish there that's caught that morning, mm-hmm. and I'm going to eat that afternoon. You know, I'm eating mahi that the dude just brought in this morning, yeah. and it's on my, you know, my fish tacos. Well, so you, if you you have that kind of relationship with food, and you understand its true values, and then you understand the kind of value that you need, um, you're going to be okay. Most of the time, most of the time, the value that I place on food is like what Adam's talking about. I'm eating things that are healthy for my physical body, but not always. Not always. Sometimes I'm I'm gonna enjoy certain foods because that at that moment that's what the that's the value that the well, food is. I bringing think the me. the important thing, and when Justin gets to his turn, you, you, what you're gonna find with cheese us, and barbecue sauce, <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the thing that is that's important, and, and even bacon. like listening to you, Sal, and kind of like uh, replaying what I was saying about the, the thing that I think that the best takeaway that somebody can get from probably us talking about our nutrition is that. We're not neurotic like ninety percent of the fitness space. No, we used to be. Yeah, I used to be neurotic about right. my food, and it and, wasn't healthy. Uh, and at the same time, although we're not neurotic to where we're we're weighing, measuring, and doing all those things, um, I'm not saying that there's not value to that. Like if I was in a place in my life right now where we were, let's say we had a bet, like you know who is going to fucking build the most muscle right now, or let's get on stage in six months. Like you bet your ass, like the scales Ooh. coming out. I'm fucking prepping every single week. I'm carrying my food around. I'm getting serious about if I'm going to make the greatest change in the fastest amount of time, there's going to be no room for error. But in my life right now, that's just not a priority. I don't give a shit. And I don't give a shit about anybody who's going to judge me if I'm fucking 14% body fat compared to 9% body fat or 6%. I don't give a shit about what somebody well, thinks that, right see, now. See, that's the key when you when you, when you you start to understand the, all the values of food and you understand the values that you really need and you have a good relationship with yourself. Um, then you're you're gonna sit somewhere that's healthy. You're gonna sit somewhere at a body fat percentage that is is healthy. You're gonna have decent strength and performance. It's something that you can have forever and long term. Are you gonna be shredded? No, I don't think there's very few people that could be shredded without having to measure and count everything. So if you want to be super super diced, you're probably gonna have to do that. But here's a, here's a you know some news break for you. Being shredded all the time is not healthy, typically, physically or psychologically. So at some point, if you want to have a healthy life and you want to do this forever, at some point, you have to really understand the total values of food. And it's a stress. It's more of a stress-free way of eating where, again, I was on vacation. I'm not freaking out because I'm eating shaved ice, locomocos, and you know whatever. I'm, it's part of the experience. Then when I get home... I'm not on vacation anymore. I don't need to like, you know, complete the, you know, the value of, you know, my hometown. I live here all the time. So I'm going to eat foods that are physiologically healthy for me most of the time. Again, because that's the value. Look, I had dinner at my mom's house last night. Now, this is a Sunday dinner. We had a lot of family over. I actually posted a video of it on my Instagram. It was about 20 something people there. So I'm going to enjoy the moment. So what did I do? I ate pasta with sauce. Ate some sausage and some meatballs. My dad made this chicken dish that we had, and we had some vegetables and some salad. Um, I had some bread because you know my aunt brought some fresh French bread. Because at that moment, the value of that food wasn't necessarily the physiological value of getting me shredded or fueling my body for a crazy workout. The value was. I'm enjoying my family, mm. and we're, bi- we're, we're we bond over food, and we're having great conversation. Right, let we're me get mine out together. before this goes for an hour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, besides like cheese and you know barbecue sauce and all that shit, you guys you know make fun of me for. Um, I do like actually pay attention on some level. I'm not neurotic, obviously, 
Uh, but uh, I, I do try to make sure that I, I don't eat processed food. That's one that I know right away is going to affect me in, in a negative way. So anything that's going to like affect me to where I'm, I'm going to feel the physical uh, ailments that it's going to present me. And like, this is where too, where some elements of like grains, glutens, things like that, that I'm in, in, that's been in my diet before that I've like really kind of pinpointed that this causes me at night to get up because I have like bad acid reflux and I have like these other, you know, gastrointestinal issues. Like I'm going to try and steer clear of mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. so, and then the other thing is like in the mornings with breakfast, like I'll, I really tried to eat breakfast. I went so long not eating breakfast that I, I feel like that really had a detriment on my metabolism. And so I've tried to incorporate that and bring that back. And then I'll, I will actually like, that's one of the things where I, I manipulate a lot based off of my activity. If I'm more active, I'm going to, you know, make sure I'm really getting that breakfast. And, and when I'm less active, I'm not. And so my carbs are really just, uh, you know, potatoes and rice. And like, that's where I'm sprinkling that in, you know, based off of like, you know, how much, uh, I'm working out doing things. And otherwise I'm really just trying to stick with, with vegetables and, and meat as much as I possibly can. And then enjoying, you know, company. If I'm with somebody, I'm not going to be super like anal about what's in front of me other than like, I might not eat as much of it, uh, because I'm like, ah, oh, shit this is going to kill me, you know, like, or, you know, sometimes I might be all in and, you know, like that might happen. And it's just like, it's not a big deal. Yeah, you brought up the breakfast thing. You know, they just had a study that came out, um, actually sent it to Max Lugavere, um, uh, for him to share, that people who eat earlier in the day increases the amount of calories that their bodies burn. So calories in versus calories out still, of course, applies, but you can change the calories out by the timing of your food. And they're actually found in the study that eating your meals earlier in the day increases the amount of calories your body burns uh, processing the food it's pretty logical yeah. when you eat it in the evening so um, and it's not a huge difference it's not going to be a game changer for for a lot of people but it is a difference kind of interesting yeah